Hey Crypto, Pipto, this is Don Don Kryptonium Remillionaire. You ask me what is Remillionaire, I tell you what is Remillionaire. You see, here is Millionaire, here is Billionaire, here is Trillionaire, but up, 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 up there, there is Remillionaire. So today we are going to talk about Neutron. What is Neutron? Interchain security. I hope I'm going to help you with this to understand just a little bit more about what Cosmos offers, what will be the interchain security. Uh, remember, absolutely murder the like button. You know, I cannot move too much because Meow is resting here on my lap, so I have to be careful. I'm making this video uh, because there is, did I say murder the like button? I did, right? So um, one of the tasks is that I can do, I'm not even sure if I'm going to submit that because I have no time for this nerdy shit that is going on there, but make video about Neutron, how it works. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to give you my own thoughts about Neutron and potential. I, I think it's the same. That's my own thoughts, okay? So let's go to the Neutron page, trying to understand we will compare it to Juno, we'll compare it uh, to other chains. I will try my best to tell you what is smart contract platform, okay? But let's start with the, with the title. Smart contract platform secured by Cosmos Hub. This is, this is already interesting. The most secure Cosmosm platform in Cosmos. Neutron lets smart contracts leverage. Bleeding edge interchain technology. Wow, the wording. So what is smart contract platform? It's like Ethereum. It's like Solana. It's like Avalanche. It's like Near. So smart contract platform is the essentially chain, the platform that lets you deploy smart contracts, build your own applications on chain. The example of the application would be Uniswap. If you if you're familiar with this, right? or the, the other trading platforms, etc. I'm saying Uniswap because this is quite easy to understand. So Neutron will be the smart contract platform that allows you to deploy your own application. What is the difference? Okay, because it, it says few things. Um, permissionless, uh, Cosmosm, interchain, security. Okay. Uh, whew, that's difficult, but imagine because uh, I'm I'm going to start with the with the with the interchain security. Uh, th this is this is really important part. So we have the chains like Ethereum, Solana, Near, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. When you look at Near, it's substantially smaller chain than Ethereum. It has a less than $2 billion in value. I'm not sure how many near tokens is staked there, but the stake tokens are responsible for security. How you improve security? Imagine near instead of this, would use the blockchain that have $150 billion in value and more staked assets. Actually, Ethereum struggle with the number of staked assets, but the bigger value then there is more security for the chain because it's secured by the larger number of value of assets, right? So for example, if I give you some smaller chain like Juno that is fully independent, uh, Juno has $150 million in value and there are even smaller chains than this. So how you could maybe elevate this? I don't think it's insecure to be honest, um, but Anyway, if you want to elevate and be secured by the larger value, you might choose the other chain. It will be possible with the interchain security that is coming to the hub. And this is why Neutron choosing this path. So instead of the start, they will not be secured by, let's say, $50 million, but they will be secured by the close to 200 million of staked Atom tokens, uh, which uh, as of now is like two billion dollars, is staked, which is number ten chain by the staked asset. So let so let's go to Neutron. What means permissionless? Permissionless means that you are able to deploy your own smart contracts, your own app on the chain without asking the governance or anyone to allow you to deploy this contract. So if you are some hacker, 
some someone from the basement doing shady stuff no one's gonna stop you to do this okay you can deploy this um let, let's go below because then we will have some answers so i'm going to the faq and i'm going to to read you some some stuff from here and if something is unclear i will try my best to actually explain this to you so it is power meant by tendermint tendermint is the proof of stake consensus i believe invented by jake one so all of the cosmos sdk chains and not only cosmos sdk chains they use tendermint consensus so the six second blocks it can be actually make faster and with the Cosmos SDK, this is framework for building the chains. Most popular chains actually using Cosmos SDK, even Binance um, and, and many other exchange chains because it's just easy to build with the Cosmos SDK. It lets developers launch smart contracts. If you are a developer, you can launch your own smart contract on Neutron. Gives tools to interoperate with other protocols and app chains. And this is the big difference what we have in Cosmos. Because you see, if uh, I, I gave you an example of two chains like Solana and Ethereum or Nier and Ethereum. If you want to communicate with these two chains, if you want to move from Neutron or Solana to Ethereum, you actually have to use the bridge. Bridges are often dangerous unsecured they don't have to be but often are so in cosmos there is something different there is something like ibc and allows you to transfer with all of the i'm sorry connected app chains and layer one platform well all app chains are layer one what the hell i'm talking about so how it works with the bridge you wrap the token you receive the representation of the token and then you can move it right in IBC, you can transfer the native token to the other chain, and this is still native token existing on the other chain. It's th There is no wrapped token, and it is not representation. So this is kind of secured solution and more seamless experience that is believed in Cosmos that the future is interchain. Neutron is incubated by T P2P. Uh, P2P is a big company, they are behind Lido, they are one of the first Cosmos, uh, you know, validator. So how does the interchain security benefit Neutron? There is belief that, you know, it might be better to launch as the consumer chain. So interchain security lets validators from provider chain, like the Cosmos hub, but it doesn't have to be Cosmos hub, produce blocks for consumer chain like Neutron. Node operators are rewarded with additional native token, but can be sanctioned if they fail to validate the consumer chain. So this is very important. And those, you know, people who validate Cosmos chain, they have to pay attention to the consumer chain. So you'll be, if you stake Atom, you'll be receiving Atom and Neutron as well. In, in that what it means. In a nutshell, interchain security provides Neutron with the same degree of security as the Cosmos hub. Interchain accounts and interchain queries. I don't understand them much, but I will read it for you. Okay, it's stupid. Like ICA interchain accounts lets Cosmos blockchain control accounts, aka wallets or remote zones via IBC instead of local private keys and write transactions that can be executed on remote chain. It means smart contracts on Neutron will be able to interact with modules and zones from ICA and a Cosmos chains and vice versa. Interchain queries. They retrieve raw data and Merkle proofs from storage distant blockchains. They verify raw data using Merkle proofs. They process raw data. Look, you just read it yourself by yourself understand what's miracle proofs because that that's actually too much and i know like reading this to the retail that doesn't work no one will get that okay but let's go to the more interesting stuff like what is cosmos permissionless and when is neutron la launching so this is what everyone should be interested um cosmos is a virtual machine that allows smart contract uh tracks written in rust everyone knows rust everyone knows rust in the future um, so you see, um, Ethereum Solidity, EVM machine, this will be Cosmosm contracts is different, very, it's different machine 
essentially. It's different the virtual machine, and it has contracts written, is contracts written not in Solidity, but in Rust. So the Rust developers more likely would deploy here. And if the Solidity developers want to, um, you know, be relevant, they also probably will learn Rust at some point. So this is just the, this is the difference. Cosmos smart contracts have significant benefits over an app chain, bin app chain binary. The benefit from, a, I'm not going to read that, sorry. I explained enough, I think. Why is Neutron permissionless? Being permissionless meant smart contract can launch on Neutron within the need of uh, to be whitelisted via governance. So, so I gave you the answer. Like, you want, you deploy. Don't ask anyone. When is Neutron launching? Uh, soon after the re release of Interchain Security. Interchain Security should come in the like first quarter, right? Uh, or at the end of this year. I I, I think it will be early twenty twenty three. Uh, they will be launched, so we can be looking around there. And will Neutron have a token? Uh, yes, it will have token. So um, that's probably uh, what interests you. You will be rewarded with the two token. This video is probably enough. A little boring, I understand. I hope you understand what is Neutron. I hope you understand what is uh, consumer chain and what is interchain security with that don kryptonimus is out right now and till the next time